Hello everyone, in this paper we are going to present the app tool gather, which is a tool we can use to explore whether tourists' real-time sharing will encourage other tourists to visit points of interest they did not plan to visit. Research shows that visiting a novel place brings travelers satisfaction. However, people usually visit places they've already been to. Studies show that this is because people lack awareness of nearby places that they haven't been to and do not know whether they are worthwhile to visit. To enhance users' awareness, we've designed and developed Tool Gather, which leverages the idea of a crowdsourcing where tourists can share their real-time and in-the-moment experience with other tourists in the same area. Toolgather is a mobile application that allows tourists to check into places to share their experiences by means of uploading photos and adding reviews about a place they were at. Similar to how they do in social media applications, tourists in the same region can see their check-in through the news feed page as well as on the tourist map. They will also be notified about the popular points of interest and the check-ins around them. We ran through four formative studies to iteratively improve Toolgather and obtain insights about how people use Toolgather and whether it encouraged people to visit more diverse places on a whim, not just to stick to their original plan or visit famous locations. In addition, we conducted a field experiment to investigate whether seeing real-time experiences encouraged people to visit places they did not plan to go to, as compared to online comments that may not have been posted recently. Next, we will be presenting several highlights of our study. For more details of the study results, please refer to our paper. First, in our formative studies, we found that 6 out of 10 most visited POIs were those that are categorized as last popular or least popular in travel-related information sources. This suggests that when people are able to see real-time experiences, they tend to visit more diverse places and are no longer limited to only visiting famous locations. This also suggests that people can be more willing to visit new places when real-time information is available to them. We also investigated tourist motivation for checking to places during their travels. While some people might just want to create records of their journey so that they can review later, others think that they and other tourists belong to the same community and therefore would want to proactively help others to enhance their travels. In the field experiment we mentioned earlier, we compared two cases, one involving real-time check-ins, the other with only comments, which we downloaded from online travel websites. We refer to the latter group as the baseline group and found that the real time travel uh, and found that the real time group visited more POIs they did not plan to go to than the baseline group did. In terms of either the total number of visits or the ratio of unplanned visit to all visits. Moreover, what we found more interesting is that the influence of seeing real-time experiences depends on a person's travel style. More specifically, we found that the influence of being able to see real-time updates and reviews was larger on those who plan to visit many places than on those who plan to visit only a few places. Specifically, for those who plan a lot, when they saw only online comments, they only visited about two POIs they did not plan to go to. Whereas those who were in the real-time group visited about five places they did not plan to go. This significant difference was not seen among those who did not plan a lot. This same pattern is also seen in the ratio of unplanned visits to all POI visits. The main reason for this difference is that those who don't plan beforehand like to explore new places they did not plan to go on their own. Thus, many of the unplanned visits were initiated by themselves various active travel planners who like to follow their own travel plan only went to unplanned POIs because they saw the real-time check-ins. The same pattern is also seen in this figure. For example, for those who plan less, we can see that only 11% of their unplanned POI visits was preceded by viewing check-ins. In contrast, for those who plan more, 25% of their unplanned POI visits were preceded by viewing check-ins. This again confirms that those who plan more tend to explore more by themselves, and those a lot of novel places that they visit were initiated by themselves. On the other hand, if we look at how much the participants' check-in views were converted into real visits, the figure shows that 
those who plan less are twice as likely to convert their tracking check-in views to actual visits as those who plan more. This also implies the openness of those who plan less to visit in new places. In conclusion, our results shows that exposing tourists to real-time travel experiences from other tourists in the same region will prompt them to visit more places they did not plan to go. This in turn gives many unpopular places the opportunity to be discovered by more tourists. From looking at people's motivation for posting their experiences online, we can see that leveraging crowdsourcing to encourage exploration is promising. However, we also found that this influence depends on how open the tourists are to visiting new places if they see experiences by other tourists. Our paper provides a more detailed explanation of our results, so please read our paper if you are interested. Thank you for your time.